we'll see if, uh, if uh, Action Jackson makes this into a short video. But we're going to do the conspiracy theory update. Um, it's, always, it's always good to keep track of the latest things you should be really, really worried about. And of course, the latest thing you should really, really be worried about is, as you know, we talked about this the other day about the um, uh, baby formula shortage. You know, there's a baby formula shortage. I did a, I did a big segment of the show on it. I think we put out a short video on it. There's been a lot of work on it. It turns out we're all wrong. The baby formula shortage is not a consequence of closing down the one uh, plant. It's not a consequence of FDA policies or tariffs or all kinds of other constraints on international trade in baby formula. It turns out that the baby formula shortage is basically um, a, a creation of Bill Gates. The Bill Gates has basically created a baby formula shortage. And of course, the reason he has created the shortage, the reason he's created the shortage, other than that he wants to kill off a bunch of babies because he wants a smaller population, we are told. But the real reason is that he has just invested, um, he's just invested in a company called BioMilk. BioMilk. Milk spen spelt, so it's B-I-O-M-I-L-Q. Biomilk. And Biomilk is working on reproducing human breast milk, uh, basically uh, using mammary cells. So basically, they're going to produce female human breast milk uh, from cells uh, through the cloning of the cells. I don't know what the technology is, but, but this, is, this is it. And of course, Bill Gates doesn't want the competition involved in, um, in baby formula, so he is crushing destroying, eviscerating the uh, baby formula uh, business so that he can then swoop in and basically replace all baby formula with his artificial, well, it's not really artificial, but it's kind of man-made. Man-made is not artificial. I don't know, man-made breast milk. And uh, so it's all Bill Gates. And, and this, is, this is a real thing. This is a real conspiracy theory that had to be debunked. Um, now, there are lots of reasons why this is silly, uh, starting out by the fact that it, it's going to take at least three years until this is commercialized, maybe longer. It's a hugely risky investment. Bill Gates invested in a lot of startups. This is just one among many. Uh, and of course, I gave you all the reasons for the, um, for the uh, formula shortage. And Bill Gates doesn't have that much power to kind of uh, completely destroy global supply chains, influence the FDA. But of course, I'm naive because really, Bill Gates plus the elders of Zion combined, combined, they have that kind of influence. And, and, and they, can, they can change the laws and, and, and change trade policy and change FDA policy and change all these things in order to benefit their one little company so that they can take over and monopolize the breast milk industry. I wouldn't be surprised if as part of the vaccines, the Bill Gates vaccines, um, they're also going to suppress uh, uh, mother's breast milk so that the, the mothers who would like to breastfeed can't, and they're going to have to buy milk from Biomilk. Anyway, that's what people spend their time doing, is creating hysteria, panic, uh, stupidity about these kind of things. So... Uh, uh, truly unbelievable, but uh, there you have it, uh, Bill Gates, in an effort to maximize the value of his investment, is creating the baby formula shortage. But that is not all, since we mentioned the elders of Zion. Oh, where did it go? There it is, my Twitter feed. Um, I, I go to Twitter today, as I do every day, and I look at uh, what is uh, trending and I noticed that the Rothschilds are trending. Rothschild, you know, the bankers, the Jewish, Jewish bankers, might I need to add? And I said, why the Rothschilds um, trending? So, so I go to um, I go to uh, I, I go to Twitter, and 
I see all this horrific stuff about the Rothschilds. We'll get to that in a minute. But what stimulated it all? What got everybody talking about the Rothschilds? Well, it turns out that Elon Musk uh, tweeted something. Uh, this is what he tweeted. And, and we'll, you know, so Elon Musk tweeted today, the 18th, you know, yesterday. Elon Musk tweeted, in the past, I voted Democrat because they were mostly, in parentheses, the kindness party. But they have become the party of division and hate, so I can no longer support them and will vote Republican. Now watch their dirty tricks campaign against me unfold. So somebody responds that somebody's name is David Rothschild. And David Rothschild responds, rich white son of emerald mine, uh, mine owner who grew up in apartheid South Africa is the real victim in our society. Thoughts and prayers. So David Rothschild, I, I, you know, I often encounter his tweets. He's a particular vicious idiot. Um, well, he's both vicious and an idiot. Um, he's an economist, which um, suggests that he's smart. So he's a real piece of work, this guy. I mean, really nasty, uh, and always tweeting the dumbest things and most ignorant things. So he's an economist who's ignorant about economics, among many other things, which shouldn't surprise anybody. Anyway, uh, so he tweeted this horrible thing. It's stupid, right? Really, really stupid. So then a bunch of people write, I mean, a bunch of people all over the place, basically. A Rothschild complaining about other people's privileges, a joke that tells itself. So this is hysterical. A Rothschild, Rothschild's a super rich, right? They're the, this incredibly wealthy family because they go back to the, like the, the 18th century bank, uh, Jewish bankers who, who were the most powerful bankers in Europe in the 19th century and maybe the 20th. And, and incredibly rich family. So he's super privileged, so how could he make fun of, of Elon Musk? But of course, it turns out that this particular David Rothschild uh, is, thank goodness, because it, it, would have, it would have destroyed my faith in genetics and in the Rothschild family and in their, their banking prowess, um, is not a member of that family. I, I don't know if David Rothschild is rich or poor. I have no idea. But he's not a member of the Rothschilds. But of course, that's automatically the assumption. Um, it's automatically the assumption that if you have a family name of somebody rich, you are rich. Would people do that to, to just anybody's name or particularly the Rothschilds? Now, this was an opportunity for the world to come out uh, with, uh, you know, just the most vicious, horrible, stupid uh, stuff about the Rothschilds. Um, you know, so it turns out, you know, so it's just horrible, disgusting, um, anti-Semitic stuff, um, you know, uh, uh, where does it all go? So, so we, get, we get the Federal Reserve System is a parasitic Ponzi scheme. That's true. Modeled on earlier Rothschild-dominated Bank of England. Really? Rothschild-dominated the Bank of England? Proof of that. Never heard that one before. Um, Rothschilds are literally puppet masters. And according to this one guy, and this tweet keeps coming back in Twitter, they, uh, this was proven in, in court that they are the puppet masters. They are the elders of Zion. And then there's one saying that the Rothschilds patented a COVID-19 test in 2015, and they have a picture of the patent. Now, anybody with half a brain who reads this knows that that's not what the patent's about, and, and, and it's complete bullshit. And, you know, if you want to know why it is, you can ask me. But it, it just, just, of course, they're behind, they're behind the whole thing. And then there's the one that says, oh, here it is. Um, they lied to us about World War I and the Spanish flu. It was not a flu, and it was not of Spanish origin. The Rockefeller and Rothschild families released the experimental virus that caused massive deaths. The ones who survived were those who refused to get vaccinated. So they caused the Spanish flu. They caused the, uh, the uh, uh, COVID. Uh, they made money off of both. Um, they, uh, you know, and then there's all the old stories about 
they caused all kinds of wars in Europe so they could make money off of them. They, they you know, unbelievable the amount of conspiracy theories. And they go back 200 years uh, in terms of the Rothschild conspiracy theories. So, um, and uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's both left and right. This is not, a, this is not any particular side. Uh, anti-Semitism is both left and right. Uh, and it's, 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 you know, you, you, if you live on, uh, on Twitter and if you dig a little bit on Twitter, you don't just follow your thing and the people you follow, you, you actually look at what's trending and stuff. The amount of idiocy and the amount of evasion and the amount of just evil and disgust and just horror that exists on Twitter is truly astounding and you know conspiracy theories that you would never even think possible by the way this idea that world war one and the spanish flu were a rothschild and rockefeller i don't even know rothschilds and the rockefellers i i assume they had some relationship i don't know i thought jp morgan was the banker to the to the rockefellers but maybe the rothschilds anyway that they unleashed it uh through an experimental you know uh, vaccine uh, or experimental something this this is um the link to this, right, the, the article that this is referring to is on Lou Rockwell's website. It's lourockwell.com. And, of course, Lou Rockwell is the CEO of the Mises Institute. So this is the, the, the disgusting, horrible Mises Institute in Auburn. Um, and uh, the anti-Mises Institute, the Rothbard Institute, is certainly the Lou Rockwell Institute. And uh, Lou Rockwell is this kind of conspiracy theory, anti-Semitic, disgusting, horrific human being. And this is God. Pretty amazing stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, he, there's an article here on LouRockwell.com. Did a vaccine experiment on your soldiers cause the Spanish flu? Uh, and um, the so-called Spanish influenza epidemic and the Rockefeller Institute's crude bacterial meningitis vaccination experiment and of course, the Rothschilds the, 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 the Rothschild funded all this. I mean, yep, These supposedly credible people, supposedly my allies, supposedly people. Why you want? Why can't you just get along with them? They're all our friends. They're all we're all together in this. We're all trying to fight for liberty. Really, these people are fighting for liberty. Really, God. Thank God, I've never had anything to do with those people. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.